Tony's son on Gold Rush is Mike Beats, and he's emulating his affluent father's path. With Tony's net worth standing at $15 million, Mike is currently in the midst of discovering the steps needed to achieve a similar level of prosperity. Born in 1990 in Canada, Mike Beats is of Dutch heritage and is the offspring of Tony Beats and Minnie Beats, both notable producers of the Gold Rush series. Growing up in a mining environment alongside siblings Monica, Bianca, and Kevin, Mike's early years were immersed in learning the ropes of the industry, operating heavy machinery from a tender age. By the time he was 13, Mike had already transitioned to working full-time in the mine. As a TV personality and miner, Mike plays a pivotal role in his father's company. Tamarack Incorporated his expertise extends to operating a range of machinery, including dozers, Oshkosh trucks, and 40-ton cranes. Mike is adept at transporting substantial equipment like trommels, dredges, and wash plants in and out of the mine, taking charge of any necessary shifts within the mining operation. Beyond land-based tasks, Mike showcases his mastery on the water, holding full qualifications as a skipper. He skillfully navigates boats and barges along the Yukon River, facilitating the transportation of equipment across waterways. Engaging in significant projects, such as relocating the Eureka Creek dredge, moving Paradise Hill, and establishing Indian River, Mike demonstrates his multifaceted expertise in the mining industry. As of 2024, Mike Beat's estimated net worth stands at around $500,000, derived from his mining career and appearances on Gold Rush. In comparison, his father, Mike Beat's net worth is a fraction of 2% compared to his father Timmy's substantial fortune. Regarding his personal life, the question of Mike Beat's marital status remains unclear. He maintains a private stance, divulging little about his personal affairs to the public. The absence of any social media accounts further limits insights into his relationships or family life. Mike appears to prioritize privacy and remains deeply dedicated to his work. It is plausible that he is currently single, embracing a bachelor lifestyle, potentially attributed to the demands of his bustling mining career or the quest for the right life partner. Irrespective of his personal life, Mike Beats continues to lead a fulfilling existence as a minor and television personality. His unwavering commitment and hard work in both realms have garnered him immense respect and admiration from fans and colleagues alike. The dynamic between Mike and Tony reflects a typical father-son relationship, albeit with its fair share of challenges. While Mike has consistently assisted his father in the family business, their collaborative efforts have not been without disagreements. An instance arose when Trommel malfunctioned, prompting Tony to expect his son to address the issue. However, Mike cited information he received, claiming the trauma wouldn't budge. Tony, in response, emphasized to Mike that quitting isn't an option when faced with difficulties. He clarified the complexity of the situation, acknowledging that, despite the familial bond, Mike functions as an employee within the business. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. There aren't many shows in the world of reality television that have been able to win over the hearts and minds of viewers quite like Gold Rush. The show has become a cultural phenomenon, grabbing viewers with its high-stakes drama and the thrill of the chase. It chronicles the adventures of miners as they dig for gold in some of the most distant and challenging locales on Earth. The show has become a sensation. One of the most important characters in this story about the search for gold is Mike Beats, who is well known for his straightforward attitude and unyielding drive. A lot of people are curious about how much money he makes from his ventures since they are avidly following his path. In the course of this investigation, we will delve into the complexities of Mike Beat's salary, revealing the layers of income sources and expenses that contribute to his bottom line. First and foremost, 
it is of the utmost importance to have a solid understanding of the pay structure that exists within the realm of gold rush. Despite the fact that the specifics of each particular contract may differ, cast members often receive a combination of a base wage, bonuses, and a portion of the gold that they extract. Mike Beats, who is a major part of the cast, most likely receives a payment that reflects a mix of these factors. The base wage that Mike Beats currently receives serves as the basis for his earnings. Regardless of the fluctuations in gold production or market prices, this fixed amount serves as a continuous revenue stream, giving financial stability because it is not affected by those swings. However, it is essential to keep in mind that base compensation can vary greatly depending on a variety of circumstances, including seniority, screen time, and the ability to negotiate and negotiate well. In light of the fact that Mike Beats is a seasoned miner and a central role in the show, it is reasonable to presume that his base wage is large. This would provide a solid foundation for his financial well-being. It is possible that Mike Beats receives bonuses in addition to his base compensation, which is determined by a number of different performance criteria. Some of the elements that could be used to determine the eligibility for these incentives include the total output of gold, the efficiency of mining operations, or the successful achievement of particular challenges or goals. Due to the fact that Mike Beats is a miner who is both hardworking and experienced, it is highly likely that he thrives in these areas. He routingly exceeds expectations and reaps the rewards in the form of incentives. Not only do these additional incentives assist in increasing his income, but they also serve as a demonstration of his commitment and expertise in the applicable sector. On the other hand, Mike Beats's portion of the gold that he assists in extracting is probably the most important aspect of his income. In the universe of Gold Rush, gold is the ultimate currency, and each nugget represents not just wealth, but also the results of labor and perseverance. Gold is the ultimate currency because Mike Beats is a member of the mining crew. He is eligible to receive a part of the gold that they recover. This is a recognition of the efforts that he has made to the business. This portion of the gold serves as a clear reflection of his success as a miner, and it is immediately connected to the output of the mine, which in turn ties his financial fortunes directly to him. However, the path from a land rich in gold to a paycheck in one's possession is not devoid of difficulties and costs during the voyage. The process of mining for gold is a capital-intensive undertaking that requires a considerable investment in equipment, technology, and operational expenditures. Because Mike Beats is a part of the mining crew, it is quite likely that he is responsible for a portion of these costs. These costs can include anything from lease fees for mining claims to the costs of fuel and maintenance maintenance. Although these expenditures are essential for the continuation of the business, they also reduce the overall profitability of the enterprise, which in turn has an effect on the amount of money that Mike Beats receives in his paycheck. Mike Beats' financial condition is further complicated by the unpredictability of mining which adds another layer of complication to the problem. Variations in gold production can be quite unpredictable due to a variety of causes, including geological conditions, problems in equipment, and even variations in the weather. These changes have the potential to have a direct influence on the wages of Mike Beats. During times of strong productivity, he may receive higher paychecks, while during times of low production, he may receive smaller payments. As a result, Mike Beats is required to handle the inherent volatility of the mining business. Striking a balance between the potential for significant returns and the inherent dangers that are involved. In addition to his job on Gold Rush, Mike Beats may also investigate other potential sources of income and methods of achieving financial security. A significant number of reality TV celebrities take advantage of their fame and visibility in order to explore opportunities such as signing endorsement deals, selling items, and making public appearances. 
The fact that Mike Beats is a fan favorite and a renowned figure in the mining industry suggests that he has a great deal of options to profit on his celebrity status, which would further increase the amount of money he makes from the show. However, it is necessary to acknowledge that the appeal of gold and the excitement of the chase stretch far beyond the sphere of television. This is something that must be acknowledged. The mining industry is more than just a job for Mike Beats. It's a way of life that stems from a profound love for exploration and discovery throughout his entire existence. He is eventually propelled on by his love for the land and the chase of gold, which propels him through the obstacles and successes of each mining season. Although his paycheck from Gold Rush surely provides financial security, it is his love for the area and the pursuit of gold that ultimately drives him forward. To summarize, the salary that Mike Beats receives from the show Gold Rush is a multilayered reflection of his contributions to the show, the profitability of the mining operation, and the inherent intricacies that are intrinsic to the industry. Mike Beats' earnings are the product of a lot of hard work, determination, and a deep-seated enthusiasm for the search of gold. His earnings include his base salary and performance bonuses, as well as his part of the gold and extra opportunities for income. Fans may have peace of mind, knowing that Mike Beats will continue to explore uncharted territory in his quest for wealth, whether it be in the depths of a mine or on the small screen. This is something they can look forward to as they pursue his trip.